8th of January 2017, another couple of days down on the plot. Uh, these are the what varieties these are. I've got the oh, Durham early. The stickers coming off um, off the label there. So we'll lose that. So it's yeah, Durham early cabbages. Look for that label. So they should be ready. I think it's April. And they'll be ready. Let's see if we can get some uh, coffee grinds or something to put on there. These are what are left of the summer cabbages. Probably going to pick all them in a minute. Yeah, some nice ones there, what's coming. I haven't picked any of these yet because I think they're going to get bigger and there's no sign of them at nine, but there's still only four of them in that rest of summer. So. fruit bushes, we need to cut them back and get rid of the rubbish what's there in the bench. Um, that bean will go now for quite a while. Um, I'm going to put a path in the middle. I'm going to replace this because I cannot get replacement covering for it from where I got that one. So what I'm going to do is use the framework for some um, cages for the lettuces and stuff. Um, to grow nettings and I'll get a replacement one from Wilco where Wilco's do actually sell the replacement covers you know, they don't last long um, these are my broad beans that I put in over the, over the week uh, I can't remember the variety it's been netting cage netting's now off it for the winter oh, so they're the Aquidus Claudia so there's three rows of them in yeah, it is really coming on. Um, got a few there. I've got some seeds left actually we don't put in, so I might put the bring them down next week and put the seeds straight into ground just to finish that row off. And then there's three rows of that variety. Um, I think this bed here I'm planning on putting the first dailies in. First dailies, potatoes, and second daily potatoes. And then to the left of the path next this year will be um, second earlys, I think. Uh, no, sorry, not second earlys, main crop, main crop potatoes. Um, that's last year's spinach. Just leave it. If we don't get a harsh winter, I found that it comes back and you get an early crop of spinach. Uh, so far, we haven't really had a harsh winter apart from some heavy, a few heavy frosts, which you can see it's not killed off the spinach. So unless we get a lot of heavy snow. Um, I'm anticipating that I'll be picking spinach uh, early before I put this year's crop in. These are the January Kings that got really eaten, but you can see they've come back. Uh, I'll have to look up and see when they're ready. Don't somebody say January to me, for God's sake. <laughs> but yeah, logic would tell you, wouldn't it? But yeah, they have come back because they got eaten by pigeons and they got all the way down to the stem and I took up netting off thinking, well, that's it. But you know, they've come back. Glad it open. These are what are left of the leeks now. A bit smaller now. Right, they're um, struggling a bit, so we've had some big leeks though. Um, here, that is my old polytunnel, which I've managed to rescue the framework and get it up. But um, I've been looking at netting, it's really expensive. However, I've found out what I need to buy and it's not too bad it's um, scaffolding debris netting I've looked it up on Amazon uh, it's about 20 quid for a full roll well you go to garden centres but same net, same type of stuff and uh, charging a fortune back meter so I think I know what I'm going to be doing a few rolls of that and hopefully that will cover that up and it will cover any other veggie patches I dug that area over yesterday in front of the blackberries. Um, dug it, flattened it over. I'm just thinking that um, there's a lot of glass buried, so I'm having that area as a uh, my pots because uh, I found that my carrots are never going to do anything in the ground. So the pots will be used for carrots, and I'll put some parsnips in as well. Um, but I might try a couple of rows of carrots parsnip in the ground as well because I've got a, a lot further advanced. We're everything this year, one long cauliflower in the middle, that's just a couple. 
If we go down to over here and tidy up around the water bottle, there's two little sprigs of rosemary, um, thyme, blueberry, cranberry, and I can't remember what the other one is, but anyway, there's a couple of fruit bushes there. Doing alright. Bamboo, I think I need to cut that back, don't you? Shed. So, started clearing this area now. Uh, so this is the next bit now from top to from top to that bit um, and yeah, that's the only bit I've got left to dig over and I've done it all for the first time ever um, I suppose what weather is like when whether I can get it done before March or not mind so yeah I'm going to dig all this bit over and the plan is I'm going to hang out once I've dug it is I want a bigger shed I'm going to use that as a I'm going to use the existing one it's maybe get a portal or something a little toilet in there get a bigger shed at the side and then in front of the bigger shed I'll just have a greenhouse here um, when I'm going to be getting that so yeah this is the next bit to dig we might find I might need to move this tree I don't know yet which what is that one it's the, oh plum so I've got a plum tree there look at this tree here gooseberries in the corner that one if I remember that, that's Pimston pineapple apple. So going on if I walk down, see where I need to some fruit bushes there. What I've put into this polytunnel just here is um strawberries. So strawberries are in there so I'll hopefully get me another crop. Put them in there for the winter. I might just keep them in there. Uh these are my I've moved the broad uh, not broad beans, runner beans um to here, so one row will be the beans and the other row behind I'm going to put um, the other climbing beans um, and then in front I thought just in front of the beans here it's a bit of space I'll put some peas pea space Doesn't sound right does it <laughs> so yeah so I'll build my paths here because uh, it's last year's brassicas are still I think it's purple sprouting broccoli at the bottom um, so what I've done with the time being is just about where I want my paths look so i've got three paths to build here but this one went crazy just to finish off well i really won't have to buy anything for that but yeah so there'll be quite a few beds here once i've sorted that out let's move down so apples that one that's uh oh that's peach that one i don't know the difference between apple and peach i mean so yeah i need to dig around there as well um, got a couple more apple trees but uh, this is all purple sprouting broccoli which I thought we normally had it and picked it by now but it's very late or I've got my dates wrong but yeah so that's purple sprouting uh, there's me behind is it it's getting ready for a fire it's coming on you know it's looking good uh, bit tire these are the sprouts, which are absolutely pathetic. Worst crop of sprouts I've ever had, I ain't picked any yet. However, if I look there, there is some coming. Just really late. But yeah, hopefully it'll get big. We'll have some sprouts. I mean, they haven't blown at least. So they are coming. So there's what, one, two, six. <laughs> All the ones I put in. Some that's eating these as well. It's got in there. Got some, uh, I can't remember what I put in because the label's gone. <laughs> yeah, well, I was looking earlier to see if I could see a label and I couldn't. Um, so, what was the side here? And they look a bit stressed in between sprouts and cabbages, I think they are. These, these are small, but these are. Just some small leeks, so they're a price taker, not very pricey. <laughs> um, as I say, the other, the other variety have done a lot better. The leeks got stressed. Uh, down here, and uh, I think the wheelers imperial cabbage will be, they'll be ready in the spring. And the winter variety of lettuce, and they're not done very well, if I'm honest. It's supposed to be a winter variety. Uh, look here. So, yellow uh, raspberry bushes, and that's the garlic. I 
And here I've got three rows of onions. It looks like somebody's gone in the first, first row. It looks like it's struggling a little bit. And the onions. I think garlic. Garlic's doing all right, isn't it? And the onions. She's done well next door as well. And then you look at the top. Underneath there, that's the German radish. Underneath the netting. Alright. Um, I don't know what that was, but it's died off now. Um, and there's some kale underneath there. It'll still grow back. And uh, what's left of the lettuces. Still surviving, but not many left. Uh, when storms pulled that fence down the other week, it's typical just to do that area. But that's where I'm going to be. I've just put that on hold for the time being because skin. Um, I've got other things to do, but that's going to be my seating area in the summer. So I'm going to look out for a cheap picnic table to put there, and then I'll have a little, I'm going to dig a pond and the waterfall there as well. Um, and get skip to get rid of all that rubbish there I want to take that fence down what's in the middle so it <laughs> makes it look like I ain't got two different plots then doesn't it but oh, tip it up yeah if I stand from here and now you can see it is really coming on that plot is one big plot isn't it <laughs> it's a circle there yeah one big plot. 